Apparently they were looking for a missing juvenile and this is where they located them at over here. Just give you some footage of what's going on. And then walk on the sidewalk, make it so I'm not in the street.
So they um they found the juvenile at the bus stop over here and they just evaluate him to make sure he's okay. Apparently he went to school and he left out of school without letting anybody know. And after a brief search of the area they end up finding him at this bus stop right here. Everybody's going to clear up out of here shortly, take him back to where he needs to go, and go from there, and see what happens. You good? Perfect. I'm glad he's good. What's the number one concern? You know? Once again, uh, fine job by the Boston Police Department and Boston EMS, um, assisting on finding, locating him. They checked him out. He's okay. Take him back to school, notify his parents, and and everything else is going to work out pretty good. And 
you know, whenever they hear a missing juvenile, like they they're always gonna think of the worst case scenario. You know, where's he at? Who's he with? And every second he's missing, he or she's missing. It, it's time wasted, and you know, so you want to get on that as soon as possible. And they, yeah, you know, they, they, they're pretty good. Once again, everybody's safe. And that's the most important thing. He's checked out, he's doing well. And the officer that located him was the officer in his cruiser right there. She was the first responder that found him. I think she was on her way to the actual school. And she, she saw the description, or she saw someone fitting that description, so she questioned him and found out that was the person. So, great job by that officer right there. I'm not sure what district she's out of. It might, it might be C11. I think she's, she might be out of C11. I'm going to head up out of here, guys. Until next time. Um, anything else comes up, I'll be sure to inform you guys of what I see. Now, this post office here, it's it's not like an active post office where you guys can go inside. I think this is more of a, a, a sorting station. So it's not really a... Um, it's not one of those post offices where you can actually go inside and um, do one of those audits. But you could do an outside audit if you ever wanted to, just on the outside of the building and see how they respond to your constitutional rights. Alright guys, until next time, Nez Porter, catch you on the next one.